Yeah, I, I think in, in, um, in that type of situation, you're almost in triage. You're almost having to do, you know, get, get right to the hard work of it. And I think if I were coaching someone in that scenario, uh, what I would suggest is, is probably three things. One, I'd say, okay, you, you actually need to learn to breathe. So you, we're gonna practice deep breaths. And I've, I've realized for myself, even in the, in the last couple of years, that shallow breathing is a habit. You know, it's, if I don't think about things, I realize I'm hardly breathing at all. And yet when I take a deep breath, I can feel the pressure start to relieve. So I would actually encourage someone to try some true deep breathing exercises. Then I would probably suggest, you know what, you're going so fast and there's so much pressure, you need a place and a time to decompress. So somehow in the midst of what seems like complete overload, you need to add some more time in the morning. That time in the morning is gonna be that centering time that enables you to get through the days. So when my daughter was diagnosed with cancer, both my wife and I doubled the amount of time we were spending in quiet every morning, at least doubled it, because it was what we needed in order to survive just that 24 hours just knowing that we were walking into a scan or a doctor's appointment. It took that simply to survive. And had we not doubled our time, what was sufficient before wouldn't have sufficed. So I would, I would tell someone to say, you know, somehow go to bed a little bit earlier, get up another 20 minutes, 30 minutes earlier, and get some time just for yourself and just with God. And then I would say against all reason, start some practice of the Sabbath. Because if I know, and, I, and I've seen this just even in launching a book, if I've got six really busy days, I can survive it. If I know that seventh day, there's no work at all and that I can catch my breath. It's like, you know, it's, it's a permanent reprieve. So I, that would be kind of the real down in the weeds, practical things I'd tell someone.